Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and today we are talking about bionanogenomic stock, better known as BNGO stock. First, we will discuss how bionanogenomics is combining their technology with another company's technology named New Probe Global to co-develop products. Then we will talk about a recent event that BNGO took part in and how it could impact the stock price. Then lastly, we will talk about if now is a good time to buy BNGO stock if we compare its current price point against its new 12 month analyst price target. Remember to go and press the like button right now because it helps me out a lot and to press the like button for more stock news updates, comment your BNGO stock price predictions down below, turn on all subscription notifications to stay informed, and now let's get right into today's stories. New Probe Global is a molecular diagnostics company that is based in Shanghai and they are combining their technology with bionanogenomics world-renowned optical genome mapping system named Sapphire. New Probe will be integrating their quantitative amplicon sequencing and their blocker displacement amplification technologies to be used alongside bionanogenomic Sapphire system to further research and develop products for reproductive health. So bionanogenomics technology, specifically their Sapphire system, is not only revolutionary in and of itself, but it can also be used in tandem with other technologies as well. A professor of genetics at Harvard Medical School, who also sits on the board of New Probe's scientific advisory board, had to say this, and I quote, The bionano OGM system provides direct and unambiguous identification and characterization of large-scale DNA structural variants without complex bio bioinformatics. This seems a great match to provide genomics and clinical researchers with the gamut of DNA variant information from large to small. So while a bionanogenomics technology focuses on larger variants, New Probe's technology zooms in on smaller, low-frequency variants, so these technologies are a perfect match for one another. BioNano's Sapphire system uses single molecule fluorescent markers to detect structural variants which allow clinicians to identify the causes of genetic diseases while also allowing them to create or prescribe therapies for their illness. The OGM Sapphire system is very accurate and it can even detect hard to read variants due to its high resolution and precision. Likewise, New Probe's quantitative amplicon sequencing is extremely accurate in detecting mutations including how many mutations are present. Plus, this can be done on fresh or frozen tissue samples, and it can even detect tumor cells. The deal gets even sweeter when we consider New Probe's blocker displacement amplification technology, which can enlarge low-frequency mutation signals. Another big add-on is that this technology can also detect low-abundance mutations all the way down to the RNA level. Basically, when you add all of these technologies together, traditional methods of identifying and characterizing mutations and or structural variations become obsolete, and this will become the new golden standard. The head of innovation at New Probe USA had to say this, and I quote, BioNano's single molecule optical genome mapping can detect structural variants and provide breakpoint information of DNA fusions at a resolution of 5 KB. When combining it with New Probe's technology, we can obtain accurate DNA breakpoint location information, thus facilitating the research in gene fusion. The CEO of BioNanogenomics then had this to say in response. Sapphire is the leading platform capable of detecting structural variants present at low fraction in complex cancer samples. New Probe's technology allows for the detection of low abundance point mutations. Combined, they can provide researchers and clinicians with a more more complete picture of the mutational burden of a tumor sample than any single technology can by itself. We are excited to see how this combination of our strengths will allow New Probe to develop a superior product for genome analysis in reproductive health and oncology. 
Then lastly, New Probe CEO ended with this. Currently, in both reproductive health and oncology, some variants cannot be detected by NGS, such as structural variants greater than 1 KB. BioNano is a new cytogenetic technology that we have evaluated as a powerful complement to existing NGS technologies. Combined with our QA sequencing and BDA technologies, it can effectively help clinicians to identify the location and causes of disease. Now, I do apologize for a lot of quotes, but their respected CEOs can explain their technologies better than I can explain it, especially when it gets to a high level of sciences and cytogenetics. So I will just leave that terminology and jargon to them. However, now we can move on to our next story about how BioNanogenomics just participated in an event recently, which was the European Society of Human Genetics Conference, which spanned six countries, 10 institutions, three clinical areas, and 11 presentations. And as usual, BioNano was praised for their Sapphire Optical Genome Mapping System, which was deemed superior to all other traditional techniques and technologies. Clearly that was a big deal, but it really didn't have much of an effect on the stock price. But with that being said, BNGO stock and BioNanogenomics as a company have had a really good year in 2021. The stock is currently trading at around $6 a share, which is a far cry from its over $15 highs. But it was not surprising that BNGO stock had a major stock correction. The good news, however, is that many are still bullish on the stock and portfolio greater gives the stock a B rating, which is always a good sign. The article says that the main problem with investors today is that they cannot separate BioNanogenomics name with meme stocks, but for the investors that understand the potential of this stock, that is where the prime investing opportunity comes in. The company has also had a great last two quarters with their revenues of $3.9 million recently, which is a 226% increase year over year. BNGO's technology is slowly becoming the industry standard for many labs and hospitals due to it being faster, more accurate, and cheaper than traditional technologies. BioNanogenomics has a great formula for growth. For instance, they have a great revolutionary product in their Sapphire system, they have a low market capitalization, the stock is cheap and enticing to retail investors, they have a razor and razor blade business model, and the company has over $330 million worth of cash or cash equivalents on their balance sheet. And that cash can go toward research, making more products, making better products by improving their Sapphire system, or it gives us a buffer of them not going out of business because even if their cash burn rate is high, they have a lot of money to spend. However, I personally find one of the most enticing reasons to look into the stock and maybe even invest into it is what analysts think that this stock could be worth. For example, the Wall Street Journal has a buy rating for BNGO stock and their price target is $11.50 within the next 12 months. So this puts great long-term growth prospects on the stock, especially if they can reach this price point in the next 12 months. Other analysts think that the stock is worth more around $10, while more bullish analysts, like the ones I like to follow, think the stock is worth at least $14. But regardless of which price target is correct, all of them show that BioNanogenomics has great growth prospects in store for this stock. But what do you think? Comment your thoughts, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next YT video.